So I've been uh, opening the garage door and looking out at the light and seeing holes in my fender and I just keep tacking them up and I think I'm just about done. But I think what's going to happen is I'm eventually going to sandblast this whole entire fender and just coat it with metal to metal body filler because I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of every single one of these holes. And uh, then I was going to also show you the front where I filled a, a big hole. So you can see I, I used a, a piece of brass on the outside, so there's not a whole lot of metal sticking through from where I did all those tack welds. And then up here on the top, I cut a piece and I got it to fit pretty good and bent it every direction I could in order to get it to fit. It's uh, contoured, it seems like, in almost every direction. So now I have to TIG weld it all up. So you can see I replaced this entire piece right here and uh, take weld that all in and then grind it all off so it's pretty sturdy now. So you can see that I started to uh, replace the area where the headlight used to be. Uh, after uh, looking at where the headlight mount was, it was pretty rusty and I tossed back and forth whether I was going to keep the lights or get rid of the lights. And I think I'm going to stick with the idea of trying to stick LED lights inside the grill so you can't see them at all. They'll be kind of hidden back in there. And uh, you could also see I tried to fix the fender and I welded up a lot of little small pinholes, and I may replace a little bit of that sheet metal where there's so many holes in one place it just got too thin. And you can also see on the right side where the uh, fender support used to be, I had to replace that because there was a hole over there also. So uh, that's where I'm at for today. So I, I made this rod the last couple days, and uh, this is made out of quarter inch round, and this takes place of the eighth inch wire that was inside the fender lip. And uh, so now I'm going to put it on underneath. Okay, I just wanted to show you how much this uh, wire form changed and how much I had to add on in order to add supports. You can see these two supports right here is where the cut's going to happen in the fender to separate the fender into two pieces. And I still have to add on one more piece of uh, eighth inch plate onto it so that the fender can come down and rest on that piece of plate. And then I'm going to glue this in. You can see where I put the split in the fender and where it's lining up with the body line. So it's going to come, the body line will continue on down, all the way down across the fender. And what I did was, uh, after laying it out with a piece of spring steel to get a nice straight edge, I drilled all these holes so that I can see the, uh, the line on the other side of the fender whenever I have the hood flipped up in the air. So I still have to cut a piece of eighth inch plate and connect it to this rod right here so that it's underneath of it. And then after I do that, then I'll come back with a grinder and I'll cut right where I had all those dots, all those holes, and that'll split the fender right here. And then that way, when this part of the fender comes down and sits on this part of the fender, this part of the fender will be down on the side of the cab. And, uh, and this edge will come down and sit on this piece of sheet metal that I'm gonna add. And then I just have to put a latch in right here but I can stick my hand up and pull the, the lash to tighten those two up.